What's going on everybody? I'm back and first before we get into this review I just want to give a big thank you to all the love and support from you guys because YouTube is stressful and and there's been a lot going on but through you guys and through talking with some of my other friends and my family um it's really helped a lot, but that's not what we're here for. What we're here for is to talk about the one and only true good Transformers movie. We're here to talk about Bumblebee, so let's get right into it. Now, if you don't know what Bumblebee is about, I'll explain it. Bumblebee is a new Transformers film. It's really a Transformers reboot of the entire franchise, and you can feel it right from the very beginning. It follows Bumblebee as he crash lands into Earth, as he meets up with Haley Steinfeld, whose family life is not ideal, and they grow, they grow as as an Autobot and as a person. And overall, I thoroughly enjoyed Bumblebee, guys. I'm so happy to say that Travis Knight has not only created the best film that we've gotten as far as a Transformers live action movie is concerned, in my opinion, he's created one of the best Transformers movies, period. Now, do I have issues with this movie? Of course I do. There are problems with it. But I will also say there's a lot of good to go along with it. For instance, the opening. The opening of this film, along with every action scene created throughout the entirety of it, is great. It's well constructed. I think it's what a lot of us Transformers fans, I didn't grow up in the 80s, but I did watch Transformers as I was getting older and growing up. And... It's exactly what I want to see. But to tell you the truth, besides the action scenes, the best part of the movie for me is the relationship between Bumblebee and Haley Steinfeld. The relationship is there. It's it's beautiful. It got me very choked up at a point. I had tears streaming down my face at a certain point during the entirety of this film. The emotions, the character development for Haley Steinfeld, it's there, it's great, it's beautiful. And as far as John Cena goes, this being more of a dramatic role for him, there are some comedic bits that he has and those are great. He gives a fine performance. I do think that as as time goes along, he will be like Dwayne Johnson to where his performances will just keep getting better and better and better. But for now, I thought the performance was fine. It didn't bring the movie down for me at all. And man, oh man, is it simple. I guess the best way I can sum up Bumblebee as far as a movie goes, it's kind of like if you took Iron Giant E.T. and Lilo and Stitch and put them together and then made a Transformers movie out of it. It does follow some of those same formulaic notes that films like E.T. have, but honestly, they work for this movie. They, in my opinion, they make it not only an enjoyable film, they make it a very heartfelt and a very strong film as well. Now, I said that I had issues with this movie and it's the issue that everybody has when it comes to these Transformers films. It's the human characters. Besides Haley Steinfeld. At a certain point, Haley Steinfeld gets to know this guy who may have a crush on her. I didn't really care about him and anything. I didn't really care about all the military personnel. I mean, even John Cena, even though I thought his performance was great, didn't really care about his character. Didn't really care about any other character in here. And unfortunately, for me, the parents and, and the the parental figures in Haley Steinfeld's life in this film are much worse than the ones that we had in the in the Michael Bay Transformers movies because those parents you can just shove them off as just being badly written poorly constructed and just really stupid idiotic people there's no redeeming quality about about anything to do with Haley Steinfeld's parental figures in here I mean, her mother especially. Her, uh, I don't think I've seen a more despicable human being you know, or a despicable parent when it comes to a character in a film in probably all year. At the end of the day, guys, I gotta say, I loved Bumblebee. Now, is this a perfect movie? No. Are there going to be people who have issues with it? Yes, there are some glaring issues with Bumblebee. But I am happy to say that if this is the direction where the Transformers franchise is headed towards, and there are some pretty cool homages to some of the best moments from the Michael Bay Transformers films, specifically the first one, and they're, they're just great. And if, if this reboot, if this film turns 
the franchise into a new entirely new direction i'm all on board and i cannot wait to see what we get next and guys you know what i am happy to say that bumblebee is a casual watch it feels so great to be back everybody and once again thank you so much for all your kind words it means so much to me Alright, and if you guys want more from me and more reviews from me in the year of 2018, you can click right there at the very top of the screen if you want to see a sweet podcast with me and my buddy Zach Pope where we talk about movies, television shows, video games, and the like when we get the chance. Click right down there in the bottom, and if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day.